Please be seated. Grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, that was a gospel. Those last few lines were a bit of a doozy, and um, Jesus tells a little bit of a poop joke there. Um, and so now I know why they stuck me in for today, because this was a good, good gospel reading for the newbie. With that said, all right, how much time do you all have for today? Do you have a good hour so that we can unpack all of this? Perfect. Just kidding. What Jesus says here is a lot. And we could all spend all of our time together talking through everything, reading the verses that were left out, analyzing all of Jesus' words and religious culture. But lucky for you, I can't be that long-winded. In all seriousness, though, our gospel story today isn't straightforward, as we would think. Jesus is in Galilee, doing his thing, feeding people, teaching his followers. And the religious leaders from Jerusalem come out to give Jesus some constructive criticism. People weren't washing their hands before eating and not observing some other rituals around, and traditions around food and eating. And the religious leaders, total outsiders from Galilee, came to tell Jesus how they think it should be. And I'm sure that they weren't ready for Jesus to give it right back to them, but he does. He tells them that they're being hypocrites because their actions don't line up with their words. That these religious leaders proclaim a love for God, but their actions show that they are picking and choosing which parts of the law they want to follow. Their words proclaim a love for God, and yet their actions in the world harm their neighbors. And this is the conflict and the struggle Jesus has with his fellow religious leaders. Their words are empty and hollow because their actions toward others, their neighbors, are the opposite of love. A lot of people will take Jesus' words and say, see, we don't need the law anymore. See, Jesus says that traditions and rituals, they're bad. So we should move beyond those. But that's not what Jesus is saying at all. Traditions are fine as long as they aren't harmful. The law is good because that's how we have a relationship with God and our neighbor. And the law guides us on how to love God and to love our neighbor. But when we pick and we choose which parts we want to follow and ignore the parts about caring for one another, well, Jesus says, that's a problem. And when we hear Jesus' words and reflect on our own lives and our own faith communities, oh, these words can sting, especially when we reflect on ourselves and our own actions. Jesus' words in our gospel story beg us to ask those questions, when have we chosen tradition over people? When have we claimed to love and worship God and then turned around and caused harm to our neighbor? When have we come into a situation so certain that we are right in the name of God 
and been so wrong to another human being. Goodness knows that I've made those choices as both a human and a pastor, and I deeply regret them. And I also know that I have been harmed because someone chose tradition or what they thought was the right way to do things. And I wonder how many of us know how that feels to have harmed and to have been harmed. But God knows that we aren't perfect, that we will mess up time and time again. And here's where us Lutherans will say, thank God, literally, for God's grace. Because through our traditions and teachings, we know that through Christ, God has poured out God's love and grace for us. And that because we have been given this precious gift of faith, something that we could never earn, something that is just a pure gift, we have this faith that allows us to ask for forgiveness and a faith that compels us to try again. And God gives us the gift of community to help us as well. Because when I mess up, someone else is there to get it right. When you mess up, someone else is there to apologize and to help repair that relationship that has been broken. And when we mess up, Jesus is there to love us through it and encourages us to try again and hopefully do better. Amen.